Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on AUM. In this video I'm going to introduce you to audio unit instances and the differences between those instances and the interrupt audio instances. So let's click on the plus sign here and let's click again on plus audio and let's click again on plus audio. So we have created two channels and you should remember these from the first video. Okay, now let's click on the plus sign here and we are going to select a source for these uh, first audio channel. You can select different type of sources as we previously explained. It could be a hardware um, input source. In this case, I have only a microphone, which is from my headset. Or we can choose an audio unit extension. You see here yeah, there is also a search button, a search box, which if you click on it, you can type to search for uh, um, what you desire. Let's click on audio unit extension. And this brings up the list of my audio unit extension. And you can scroll up and down to find the audio unit instance that you are looking for. In this case, I go up to the top and I scroll down to reveal the search text box. I click on it and I start to type add for add station because this is the um, audio unit which I would like to load. Uh, you can also see um, in bracket it says AU for audio unit. So let's click on it. And as you can see, it's loading now that instance in that um, node. Okay, and now it is loaded. We do the same here on the second channel. But instead of going for audio unit extension, we go for interrupt audio. So we click on it. And as you can see here, you have a list. Okay. And immediately you can see your add station, the interrupt audio um, uh, version of it. So let's click on it. Immediately you would say they are the same, but they are actually not. So if I click on the first one, you, you will see the add station audio unit instance, which has opened inside the window. So if you click and hold on the title bar, you can move it across. You can click on the X to close the window. You can reopen it again. You can change the size, dragging and drop here on the corner, like so, and it will resize. There are also other options here, which we are going to uh, show you in the next video when we start to talk about um, MIDI. So let's move, close this window. Now notice the difference when I click on an interrupt audio instance on channel number two. So if I click on it, it will actually move to the add station instance, which has been loaded in the background. So you practically have two programs, two apps now running. One is um, AUM and the other one is add station. You see also a menu here some transport controls which are related to the fact that you are in interrupt audio mode you have go back to the beginning you have a play and you also have a record button and here on the right hand side you can see this button which is which is the icon of AUM if you click on it you go back to AUM if you scroll from the bottom up to reveal the the application inside the, the iPad let's try again you see the two instances, the two apps running, AUM and also other station as an interrupt audio instance. So let's go back to AUM. So that's the main difference. So inside uh, the audio unit instance, that uh, is an instance of add station in this case, which is loading inside the AUM. And you can have multiple ones. And this is nice because it enables you to stay inside a UM as you work with other station without switching between one application to the other. So why would you use uh, still interrupt audio? Because there are uh, actually um, applications which have not been ported to the audio unit um, version, uh, which is something that might happen in the future or might not. Again, if I add another channel, again, audio, and I select again as a source 
um, uh, add station and remember you can also search at this level scroll down like so and then click on the text box if I looked again for add station I can load a second instance of other station as a audio unit so i have the first one here and i have the second one which are loaded here how do you distinguish them well from the title this one says the add station at a1 and the other one like so says add station at a3 one for the first channel three for the third channel of course you can click on it so click and hold on it and um, it will bring up a context name which you can change so you can say add station 2 and press ok and you have added the context name there as well and that might be uh, useful um, because it is uh, printed here and also here at the bottom Remember, you can also further change um, the name of the channel. So you click on it and you click here where it says edit, like so. And you change it again here. And here you can say add station two. And you press enter. And here we go, add station two. And here you have the abbreviation, okay? And you can do the same on the other channels and on the other instances as depending on how many you have on the screen. So I hope this makes it clear uh, because uh, it's important as we progress on the next video with the introduction to MIDI, it's important that you know which instance of an application we are actually instantiated, if you like, uh, opening up. Of course, the type of instances of application will depend on what you downloaded from the app stores and what you purchased as well in terms uh, of availability so in this case you might not have other station so when uh, you open a new channel like so on the plus and plus audio uh, the list that you find inside audio uni extension depends on what application you actually purchased Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you at the next one where we start to introduce MIDI. Thank you. Bye.